Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Monstrous. How are you guys doing? So today I got a new episode of Near Automata. Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? There's gotta be an easier way, right? Of course, Nine S. If you guys don't remember, or you guys haven't seen it yet, um, I actually did a... Not a playthrough, but um, I, I played up until this point um, a while back. So yeah, today we're just embarking in our journey, we're getting further into the desert and seeing what we can explore. This is like a really good RPG and it's one of my favorites. This game is really beautiful as well. It's really pretty, has a lot of uh, graphical perfections, I would say. This sand sure is slippery. Careful, we've got enemies approaching. These machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the resistance that they've been seeing us a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why though. Yeah, there's a lot of small things in this game that just makes this game, like, really good um, and really fun. For example, like, fishing is one of them. Um, you have other stuff. Just the movement and the style. Everything works and flows together. And I can't believe this game is a five-year-old game already. It was released 2017. I think they even understand the concept of being scared? I'm pretty sure I'm dodging all of these, but that's fine. Again, it has been a while, so don't, don't at me. Hypothesis. Jamming caused by enemies in local vicinity. Yeah, this game is very vast, and it's uh, very different from any RPG that I've ever played. What's with the weird looking outfits? I've seen that sort of thing when I was going through some old data. It looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectives used to use face paint like that, too. Yeah, this game is actually a really chill game, and I just, I just found that out right now. It is an RPG, so it's like RPG style, um, where like you have to explore, you have to get all your equipment and stuff, and do everything yourself, you know. But it's also a hack and slash, which makes it very beneficial and very pleasing to watch.
He just isn't your typical RPG, you know what I mean? I do like how the game is always constantly moving and changing. Uh, so for example, this is one takeaway that I had from the Persona series is that it's kind of like the Pokemon formula where you've played an RPG long enough where it, as time develops, it's just going to be the same thing over and over and you find that out. To be, it's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? Yeah. Yeah, there's something that I do like in uh, a fast-paced RPG like this is that everything's constantly moving and you have to adapt to certain situations. So it's not like how, uh, again, as I was saying, it's not like in the Persona series where, you know, you have these series of battles over and over. It's, it's literally you make the battles, you know. There's also a choice whether to fight or not and do certain things. So I don't have to do all of it. Well, some of these I do have to do. So like on the markers on the map, you have to do this. But I don't have to fight any other enemies besides that, you know what I mean? It's heading for that rocky area. Individual target ID marked. What's that? Analysis. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. So I don't know how much of you actually watch Walking Dead or are interested in it or fans at all. But this area reminds me vaguely of Fear the Walking Dead. But what it would be like maybe like Maybe like six, seven, eight years after. Also, the music. It's different. The music just hits different in this game. Yeah, everything just hits differently in this game, and it's something that, like. Y you can't deny that this has a lot of finesse and polish. Yeah, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, I hope you guys really like this content. It's something that I really like, personally. So, it'll be really fun to see more of this content appear on my channel. 
Uh, to be honest, the only reason that I haven't played it as often, or as often as I'd like, is because, um, I've got so many games that I'm playing and working on, and then also so much stuff is happening right now. Like, literally, Demon Veil is right around the corner. Demon Veil's right around the corner. I got Nintendo content coming out for you guys. I have a whole bunch of content for you guys. Yeah, also, I think the change to every two days is really paying out because while you guys do get less uploads, like, I feel like the quality of the uploads have gotten significantly higher. And to be honest, going forwards in the future, I don't think that there will ever be a time where I won't be able to go back to, what is it, everyday uploads, like daily uploads, and still have the same freshness and quality of content for you guys, because that's the main thing. Okay, I don't remember this weapon. I don't remember this weapon. That's a cool thing, also, is that I've played this game for so long, and I still don't know every weapon. Oh, it's an axe! Yeah, I definitely don't remember getting this weapon in my first playthrough. Interesting. It takes a long time to bring out. Ooh, that was sick. That was sick. I love all the weapon sets and combos too. That's easily one of the more attractive parts of this game. is overall just really attractive and it's a like they did a really good job on this game Oh my goodness. There's just a lot of secrets and stuff to unpack in this game, even when you're playing it like your second time. Uh, 
there's definitely a lot of mystery and lore. I wonder what um, makes them choose these words. Yeah, I, I wonder too. And that's something that you'll discover as well, is that robots do have a human side to them, and it's weird. You know, I say this a lot, but I wish 2B made Smash. Because, to be honest. There it goes! They don't give up. Run. To be honest, like, Run. she would be a perfect character. I can see her, like, being the Sephiroth role, but maybe, like, a little faster. Multiple machines detected I don't know. ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. This is definitely a weird scene. What is this? Don't listen to them, 2B. They don't have any feelings. They're just imitating human speech. Let's take them out. You know, I freaked out the first time I saw this. I literally thought it was a bug. I was like, what in the world? Yeah, I thought the enemies were just multiplying one by one. And I was like, oh my goodness. What the, what's happening? I don't really understand this part a whole lot it doesn't really make sense to me how this happens but i guess it does an android no this this is a machine it's sephiroth hey the music though what happens if I don't fight him? You're supposed to fight him. Yeah, 
Yeah, does nothing happen if I don't fight him? Can I walk out of here? What's up, it's a squad. I thought there was a photo mode, but I guess not. Kick though. Hey, we got the moves though. The moving is all good. Oh my goodness, he's got combos too. Damn, damn, I forgot about that. This man's like two minutes old and he gets impaled. Is this the real life? Yeah, I don't really understand what happens here. To be, we gotta get out of here. Also, that's a loud scream. If you can do that. Come on, 
through that hole. Oddly enough, this music reminds me of uh, the SAO soundtrack. Oh, I think I'm dead. Oh, no, okay. Looks like we're safe now. Yeah. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Yeah, it's very weird, but that's that song in particular. Let's move to an area with better reception. Reminds me so of uh, the SAO soundtrack. I believe the SAO soundtrack has like something that's like kind of like that. It's like their battle theme or something. Be able to reach Let's go. Here. 9S to bunker. Do you copy? I read you, 9S. Go ahead. Operator, we, uh, we just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them, but I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. All right. And with that, I think that will be the end of today's episode. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Again, I really love this game. And I'm so ready to upload some more. I'll try to fit it in my schedule, to be honest. Um, there's just so many things I do and so many things I work on that sometimes it's not possible. Um, but this is a game that I will, you know, keep track of and make sure that it doesn't just die in my channel. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one, and hopefully we'll get more stuff, you know? I'll probably be doing a lot more grinding, um, off camera, of course, and then come back with a shit ton more stuff, new stats, all that. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you guys. Ice. Peace.